So what's going on, everybody? Uh, as you know, I'm always wearing like the same shirts throughout these vlogs. <laughs> Something about my wrestling shirts in the days that I decided to do these. Anyway, um, did a recent vlog maybe about a week or so ago. And I'm trying to keep pace, especially as we're getting close to show. So I'm officially, as of this Saturday, which would be July 16th. Today is July 14th. So on July 16th, I'll be officially four weeks out from uh, the OCB presidential. And uh, maybe I've mentioned in the vlogs before, I'm not sure, but I've just been really struggling with where I need to be for this contest prep in terms of what's the look we're aiming for. And that's been an ongoing conversation between my coach and myself along with looking at the types of competitors that are winning shows. So this is the first time, like 2012 was my first time on stage. I had no idea to expect. I just did my best to get stage ready and happened to be the best that day. But with 2014 and 2018, I had better ideas of the target that I was trying to hit, right? So I knew kind of the look that we were going for with 2018 probably being the most shredded that I've ever been, period, end of statement. That's where I was 166 pounds. But getting that super shredded, though it looks cool, I mean, physically took a monstrous toll on my body um, and probably was the reason why in the end I tore my bicep. It's just my body was so depleted by the end. Even though I was reverse dieting by the time I tore it, it was just probably all the wear and tear from being that super, super lean. So as Brandon and I have gone back and forth, um, he has estimated from the beginning uh, that I'd be about 175, 176 pounds for stage. That's kind of been like his goal. That's where he thinks it's going to make sense. Um, and as of this morning, July 14th, I am officially 179 pounds. We still have not made any changes to food. Uh, it's still sitting at 300 grams of carbs. Uh, I am checking in Saturday and Sunday so that he can see how my body looks post the refeed day on Saturday, which we've been doing every day, every weekend at 430 grams. Um, but again, you know, I'm looking at the progress pictures I'm sending over and upper body. I'm really not too concerned. My upper body is pretty lean and vascular as it is. It's more my concern of where my legs need to be. And I always have to be careful because my legs get catabolized very quickly <laughs> as I start to get leaner. Um, so I don't want to lose a ton, of, a ton of the muscle that I've socked onto my legs. And I don't want to lose a ton of the muscle I've just socked onto my body in general. And I think so far we've done a very good job um, of holding on to it. And I can tell because my shirts aren't as loose. My clothes really aren't hanging off the same way as they were in 2018. Um, so I'm definitely coming back bigger and probably a little bit fuller. But my thing is I'm looking at some shows and I'm seeing like super shredded guys who are winning. But then sometimes I'm seeing where the super shredded guy is losing and the bigger guy, even though not as conditioned, is winning. So I literally, again, um, thankfully Brandon's a pretty patient dude. Um, you know, I've been questioning him and prodding him as to like, what do you think? What are you seeing that I'm not seeing? Now, granted, I know I'm a little bit more critical of myself than he would be. Um, and as a coach, he knows what he's looking at. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just very, very critical of myself. And this entire prep, I just don't feel like I've, usually I'm more confident. And for whatever reason, I don't have that confidence this time around. I don't know if it's because of I'm coming back from the bicep tear. I don't know if it's because I'm a couple years older. I don't know if it's because I'm doing larger shows. I understand that the competition is going to be way, way higher. I don't know. It's just me. It's a combination of a bunch of things. I can't really put my finger on it. But the minute I started this prep, if you watch the first vlogs, I got like really nervous. And then I kind of got into a stride like, okay, Caught my, caught my wind here, got my legs underneath me, started to move along the prep, no problem. And now we're four weeks out from show and I'm starting to question myself again. Um, 
of whether I'm good enough, whether I'm ready enough. And, and granted, a lot of this, no matter what's going to depend on the competitors that show up, how good they are at their posing. Um, and then again, what that particular judging panel decides to do. This is the hard part with this, this type of competition is it's so subjective. Even though they have somewhat of a criteria they're work, lo looking for, you don't know what the judges are going to do that day. So I messaged Brandon and was like, are you sure we're going to be ready for this show? And again, we have to be careful because I'm doing several large shows, several weeks apart. To perfectly peak is going to be very hard, and I stand to lose more muscle between now and Mr. America if I start getting too lean and then try to hold that, right? So my issue is, is that I'm a perfectionist when it comes to this kind of stuff. I want to be considered elite. I want to always present myself well. Um, and I don't want to embarrass myself on stage. It's not who I am. It's not what I like to do. I take every competition seriously. Um, so we were just talking a lot about what the what he's seeing stage-wise, competitor-wise, what he's experienced in the past, um, what he's hearing from the organizations in terms of what they're looking for, and there seems to be some sort of consensus that though they do want conditioned bodybuilders, um, there may be a preference to start leaning away from super shredded. Because that way, you know, when you, like I said, when you do this stuff, it takes its toll on your body and they want the pros to be able to compete more frequently. And when you get super shredded like that, it's, it's impossible. It's just too much of a toll on your body. You need years off from competing um, to kind of like... Get your hormones back in line, start building more muscle so that way you can come back improved. So I don't know what my hang up is. I really don't. Like I look big, I look vascular, I definitely have striations. Um, my glutes aren't completely in, but there is striation, especially on the side poses. Um, my quads have separation in them, even though I'd like more, but we should see that in the next four pounds or so. Uh, and my hamstrings are kind of poking through too, but maybe just not to the level that I was anticipating. So we literally spent 40 minutes on the phone and just discussed all this, which he did not have to do. Um, so I thank him for that. But again, I just, it's a confidence thing. I just, I don't feel confident for some reason. I don't know why that is. I got to get out of my own head. But I wanted to be honest on that one. Usually I'm way more confident right now. I'm just... I don't know. It's a, I have a weird, it's almost like a weird indifference. Like I'm not, I want to compete. I feel good about competing, but I still don't feel like I'm confident for some reason. I don't know if that makes any sense. All right. So that's the end of this one. Bye guys.